and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over five free and easy um, editing effects for Final Cut. Now, as you can see in the intro, this video is primarily um, for vertical videos. In fact, this video is just completely about vertical videos. I've never done a video kind of going over different ideas for vertical videos, whether that be um, Instagram stories or Instagram reels. I haven't really seen that many good videos on, you know, vertical video effects. So this is what I want to take, you know, the time to kind of go over some really cool um, ideas. So you can see right here, so I'll kind of just go right here. As you can see here, there's a whole bunch of just really cool um, split screen effects. Now obviously this is free because it's just a, a generic um, split screen. But as you can see right here, here are all of the different split screen effects right here. So you have a split screen effect um, right here, and then you have a split screen effect um, kind of like right here, a frame and frame effect. And then you have right here, and this is just um, you know, like a frame rate effect. Now I will admit there is a little bit of clickbait in the video because this frame rate effect um, isn't free and the outline effect isn't free so yes there is a little bit of clickbait in the video but obviously you don't need the frame rate effect you can have that playing um, at normal speed but I will admit there is a little clickbait in the video um, that's not, every not not everything's completely free but you know you can still use it without the effect but I also wanted to you know, sprinkle in a couple you know plugins just in case you know you wanted to you know use some plugins but yeah, not everything is completely free but as you can see right here I'll kind of just scroll through this layer right here here's just some photo animations you have like a photo stacking effect and as you can see right here the photo slides on you have another photo stacking effect right here and I'll kind of just go over kind of just the basic idea of how to do these effects and obviously you know you can rewatch the intro to kind of go over but I just want to go over kind of the fundamentals and the idea behind you know how to create um, these different effects right here now this RGB split effect this effect is completely free I won't break down exactly how to you know, create this from scratch because I already have a video called the RGB shake effect I'll put it up in the annotated cards but this is what it looks like right here so yeah this is a really cool um, effect um, right here and then you have this really cool effect right here now this this video this effect right here is kind of free as you can see right here um, these this outline effect just like the frame rate effect isn't free so yeah it, there's a little bit of clickbait in the video but again you don't need the outline effect I just wanted to sprinkle in a couple um, cool um, plugins just in case you ended up having the plugins because I've already made videos you know covering these different plugins but as you can see right here they say well how in the world do you get that 3d shoe I'll show you in a second it's a really cool little hack and then you have this kind of picture uh, with video inside text and then you have this really cool kind of zoom out um, right here now you'll notice there is no motion blur that was kind of a personal choice uh, so that's up to you whether or not you want to use motion blur um, for your video for these videos it just depends I went with no motion blur I think it looks okay I think you can get away with it final Cut kind of has like a built-in so smooth keyframe animation so that's person that's a personal preference up to you whether or not you want to use um, motion blur. The first effect I want to go over is a split screen effect. Now obviously I've made tons of videos in split screens. You can go back to the beginning and watch and see if you want to you know, rip off my split screens or you know obviously create your own. Basically what you're just doing is you're, you're basically just adjusting the crop scale and position of clip and like duplicating the clip or adding other clips on top. So let's say I use this as an example right here. Let's go to show horizon. So we're just going to adjust um, the scale right here. So we can just adjust the scale, take the Y axis, move it up here. So again, you see right here, you're just adjusting the position um, and the scale right here. So we go ahead and take the clip. I'm gonna go ahead and create a copy, holding down Option. You're definitely gonna want to know uh, that keyboard shortcut, holding down Option. And I'm gonna go over here, take the Y axis right here, and just drag it down right there. And there you go. Now you have a really cool. Um, split screen effect um, right there so again all you're doing is just adjusting the position you're adjusting and uh, and you're adjusting the scale now let's say I want a different clip just voila right there place it right on top of that clip um, right there and you'll again too so let's say I want to adjust the crop so I want to crop the image um, right here and I want to bring the image up right here that's a little offset you could again adjust the position or another really cool trick is you can click on this icon right here and now this gives you the option to completely move it right there and voila there we go there is a simple little split screen effect so you can use the on screen controls you're adjusting the crop the position and the scale and voila you have a really cool split screen effect 
Um, right there, and of course, you can go through you know the ones I showed in the intro and kind of you know redo um, what I did right there. But as you can see right here, the next effect I want to go over is basically this really cool photo animation effect. Now, again, you could also you know redo the stuff that I did in the intro, but like I just want to show you the the basics of how to do it. So what I just did was I go by 10 frames and then by 20 frames. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a copy right here and I'll go over again like at the end just so you didn't miss anything take the y-axis all I'm doing right here is I'm just creating duplicates um, right there so again just holding down option you're definitely gonna want to have that keyboard obviously there are tons of you know important keyboard shortcuts but option the option keyboard shortcut uh, is really essential right there now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to offset these by 10 frames so I'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 I'm gonna offset that by 10 frames right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I'm gonna offset that by 10 frames um, right there so if I go right here I'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now I'm gonna go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Now, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to keyframe this. Now, when I keyframe, I actually decide to wait uh, 20 frames. I think 20 frames looks a lot better. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you can say, well, why is it smooth? Why is this animation might not be smooth and other like animations? The uh, frame rate of this timeline is 30 frames per second. And something that I didn't know is that a 60 frames per second timeline is just gonna look a lot smoother. So if you're doing a lot of photo animations, I would encourage using a 60 frames per second um, timeline. That's why you see a lot of commentary videos on YouTube are usually a 60 frames per second. I'm gonna go ahead and place a keyframe right here. Now I, I, I went 10 frames. Now when I'm gonna keyframe, I'm actually gonna go 20 frames. So I'm gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So when I'm gonna keyframe it, that's what I'm gonna go 20 frames and voila. As you can see right there, as you can see right here, he just uh, animates on screen. So I'll go like this, go back to the beginning right here, and I'll just play this right here, stacking effect, and then boom, Patrick Mahomes slides out on the screen right here. Now if you're wondering how do I have the, the like kind of like a grouped image slide off, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait 10 frames. I'm going to select all this. I'm going to create option G and we'll just call this uh, photo uh, group right here. So I'm just going to create a compound clip. Oh, I guess I guess I don't really have to mess with the background right there, but I'll just do it, you know, all together. Uh, so uh, go right here place a keyframe on position so now all the photos inside that compound clip are going to be moving so if I go uh, 20 frames ahead so I'll wait for it to load right here so I'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 uh, 20 right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the x-axis and drag it as you can see right here I, mean, I guess you know, I probably shouldn't have done the background, but there you go now all the photos are animating off So if you want to kind of like animate a group of photos off you need to create a compound clip right here Now go to the beginning and I, you know, I probably shouldn't have done the background But as you can see right here, here's a photo stacking slides on and there you go now they all slide off um, right there was a really cool effect right there and of course you can go to the intro um, you know and basically um, you know recreate what I did now this video right here is just a screen recording right here so I went to a app called StockX so I went to an app called StockX right there I just screen recorded it and then I just you know had my finger rotate the shoe um, right there so that's basically what it is I didn't rent I didn't create a 3d shoe in Final Cut uh, that's not even possible so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go to crop I'm going to crop the bottom right here crop until all those um, things are right, right off right here and there we go as you can see well wait a minute that doesn't quite look that good um, but that's what it, like it originally looks like right there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here go to the background right here go to custom generator click on the color right here click on this little eyedropper right here click on this eyedropper and select the color and voila as you can see right here, you basically, it looks like the background is completely blended. So that's about like, you know, as close as you're going to get to like content aware in Final Cut. And let's say I want to move the shoe up right there. And there you go. So it's really cool. You can like, it's kind of like a content aware uh, uh, feature right there. And there you go. As you can see right here, the back, it's impossible to tell where it starts and where it ends. So it's a really cool um, effect right there. The next one I'll go over. 
is this really cool uh, video inside text right here. Now I kind of you know I'm kind of skipping a couple of steps right here, but all I did was was I went right here um, to the text right here, and I just animated it right here. So you can see right here, I just animated the position uh, right here. So what you want to do is you want to go to blend mode, change it to stencil alpha, and that's how you get the video um, inside text effect right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go over here. Um, enable these right here same thing I just animated um, the text right here go to blending mode go to stencil alpha right there but as you can see wait I can't see the top text all you want to do is select on this text right here this thing right here option G and we'll just call this text right here and voila now you can see the top one too so you just need to create a compound clip and there you go uh, right there so there you go. Now you have this really cool video inside text effect. And this last one right here is this really cool smooth zoom out effect uh, right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, change the scale to 220, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just keyframe, basically you're keyframing the scale. So keyframe right here, go to the end of the clip, change the scale to 100%. Basically, it, the, it's going back to normal. So you can see right there, it's scaling out right here. You're just animating the scale. Click on it right here, Command C, and then Shift Command V. All I'm doing is I'm just pasting the keyframes uh, right there, so I don't have to redo it. And there you go, you see right there, voila! It's just a simple zoom out effect right here, and you have this really cool, really really cool um, zoom out effect. Um, right there and that's pretty much it now yes I know like I said in the intro a couple of the effects do cost money but you don't actually need those effects I just want to sprinkle them in but basically the the, the kind of the, the the five main effects that I wanted to go over was just these really cool um, split screen ideas right here so I just want to go over a whole bunch of just you know really really cool um, split screen effects right here so I just want to go over a couple of really cool split screen effects um, right there. So that was kind of the first one I'll go over. And then I want to go over these really cool photo animation effects um, right here, which I, I kind of I found these on Instagram. I thought they were really cool effects. I've never seen um, anything like this before. I've seen I've seen a whole bunch of really cool effects, as you can probably you know, tell. Uh, with all my videos that I've made, but I have never seen anything come close to this, these effects. I thought are really cool. And the next effect I want to go over is this color picker effect, which is like a content aware effect, which is really cool to be able to like pick colors from an image or a text. And that's you know how you create those effects um, right there. And then of course I want to go over the, this uh, video in text effect, and finally this really cool smooth um, zoom out effect. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, have a final, I also have a playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.